All right, I haven't done this in a while. What I'm gonna do today is try to vlog and go in and attempt to show you guys what we do on a typical Saturday, as well as show you some of Alistair's favorite books. All right, so we just have finished having breakfast and now we're gonna go through some playtime upstairs. Um, as you can see, one of the first thing he does is go to his books. So here we have Baby Animals by Pretty Books. So this book is pretty nice because it has real life animals and my son really likes that. Bah. Yeah. Yeah. Bah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alistair, you want to read another book? Yes. Okay, let's go get one. All right, so here he brings us one of his other books. This is from the Kiwiko, the Poppy's Duck Chase, and this is one of his little favorite ones right here. I've recommended this quite a bit. Um, it comes in a pack of several books. I want to say 16 or 12 books like that. can't remember off the top of my head, but they're just little ant books, um, and they all use real pictures. So they're not cartoon drawings or anything, so these are really good. My son really likes watching these. Me. Mm -hmm. Me. He's saying horse in Chinese right now. Meow? Tai Banja. Woo! Woo! Okay, so another one of his favorite type of books right now are the ones from Chick-fil-A. Um, personally, I think it's because they're small and he can hold them. But the stories are pretty interesting. This one is just the song, Roll, Roll, Roll Your Boat. I do find it quite odd that it's not merrily, merrily four times, except they replace it with happily, happily, and with one of the merry merrylies. It's kind of weird, but I guess it works. All right, here we have two books. Let's go and see which one he wants first. Santo Pei Munzin. Yeah. Toki Munzin, namo. Nibun. Okay. So this is a very, very popular one right now. Um, well, it's always been popular. It's Baby's First Hundred Words. It's really nice that it uses real images. And uh, it's just one of his favorite that he always goes to. This um, has pretty much been on his bookshelf since day one, and he's been going to it. And his favorite pages, of course, is the one with the cars. All done? done. Put it back. Chevron hole. Da Chevron hole come see. Thank you. Okay, tok tai bun am I? Yeah. All right, let's look and look at his next book here. This one is one for my son to learn Cantonese. It's called Dim Sum Please. It's really nice that it has both the Chinese characters as well as the kind of romanization of it with English so that you can learn along with it if you don't um, know how to read the Chinese characters like I don't know how to read them. All right, so he really likes sitting on me when he's reading books, so it's gonna be hard for me to get a decent angle of showing both the book and him. Okay. You got it, that. That's how he says Alistair right now. Ato. Okay? Yeah. You got it, Mm -hmm. You got that? Mm -hmm. So he uh, thinks the characters in here, of course, um, let me give you a better view, is he thinks that's dad, mom, and that's himself. Of course he says dad in Chinese, mom in Vietnamese, and then he says his name in English. Alright, the next book we have here is called Busy Bear's Home. While this doesn't use real images, it does have these interactive pages where you can just slide out additional page and there's additional pictures and my son is really really infatuated with these uh, pull out pages right now. And if you've also noticed, he also has a very animal theme. He's really into animals and cars at the moment. Alright, so this next book over here, 
he has called Days of Joy. This is a book that's actually illustrated by a middle school girl. Um, she's name is Abigail Chin, and the friend, my friend actually wrote this book. So uh, we bought this off of Amazon to support my friend, and it's actually a pretty good story. Um, although I would say that it's slightly more complicated of a story for someone um, of his age, but the drawings are really nice, and he really likes looking at the pictures. This is a fairly new addition. This is a balance board from Coco Village that we got. Um, it just came in two days ago, so he hasn't played with it much. But it's uh, he's been liking it. He's been doing some weird stuff with it, like that. <laughs> but that's what it's for. It's for uh, open-ended play, so whatever he wants to do with it, he can do with it. Those are all the books that he currently has upstairs. Um, when we go downstairs, I'll show you his other set of books that he has in his room. And that's pretty much our whole routine up here. We do a bunch of book reading, we play with the toys he has up here. And after that, um, it's kind of time for snack time. And once that comes around, I'll show you what we do. So here we are at his AM snack time. Um, today we're just kind of pretty simple. He has some cheese, some chips, or these are seaweed crackers, and then he has uh, some mangoes. This is the Sprout Weaning Table. I've introduced it and reviewed it before. We use it for our snacks. This one is AM, there's also PM later on. And just in case you're wondering, we do feed him breakfast, AM snack, lunch, PM snack, and then we have dinner. Well, at least we try to always have the AM and PM snacks, but sometimes due to busy schedules, we end up skipping them or forgetting about them. Um, but that is the life of being a parent. All right, now let's talk about the books that we have inside his room. So this one is very similar, the one that he's holding in his hand. Is very similar to the one that we have upstairs. This one is called On the Farm by Pretty Books. It's another one where they have the animals and then you can touch them. Let's go ahead and continue seeing the books that he likes down here. This is Follow the Bunny. It's a book about little mazes and everything. Um, he likes it once again because there's a lot of different animals represented inside this book. Um, and he is getting to the age where he's able to recognize cartoon animals um, compared to the real ones. So that's not too bad. But I still prefer usually to give him images of uh, real, an real, real animals instead of like cartoon drawings. Okay, another very popular book you can see by the beat up condition of this book is The Pout Pout Fish. He really enjoys reading this one, um, especially when we make little voices of how, it, how the fish sounds when he's pouting or how sad the fish sounds. But this is another good one for a child. <laughs> These are some popular edition. They were very popular initially um, when he was younger. Um, it's probably about time to rotate these two books out. Um, these two are by Jimmy Fallon, the Mama and Dada books. Um, it's really nice because there is a lot of animals in them once again and a lot of different sounds. And he really liked these when he was younger. Now that he's getting a little bit older, he prefers some of the other ant books. Monkey. By far, some of his favorite books are the Love Every Books. Um, I think it's just because they use real images and they just have really good expressions. Look at them. So the one I have right here is the Max and Nana go to the park. Um, he really likes looking at the expressions on their faces. You can see they're really good. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he got hurt, huh? Max got hurt. Uh oh. He pulled up another book. This one is Leo and Melody at the Farm. So this book does have, of course, farm animals and a lot of different things. What's really nice about it is that once you flip through some of the pages, you can actually start feeling on the animals. Kind of similar to that on the farm book from earlier. So that's why he likes it, where you can actually touch the stuff. Leo! Yeah, Leo! Yeah. 
Melody, besides the Love Every books, um, which are this one, the Max Nana, the Bedtime, Bia gets a checkup, and then the one that he's right now reading is the Leo Melody one. We have these two books here that are English and Vietnamese bilingual books. So they're pretty much about fruits and vegetables. And the reason why we like these is because they use real images. And these are things that he's going to interact with quite frequently, as some of his favorite is uh, blueberries. So as you can see, he loves like looking at the pictures of these. Here we have some of the smaller books that wouldn't fit up here because they would just fall through. Um, these is, this one is part of the other series I talked mentioned earlier about the 12 or 18 books. Can I remember at this moment? Um, really nice because you can see that they are real images. My son really enjoys reading this. I highly suggest that you get these mini books. They're not overly expensive and they come with quite a bit so your child can rotate through them. And you can even bring them in the car for them to look at when they're in car rides. The other one is the one from Love Every. It's another one of his favorite right now. He really likes looking at the animals in this one. All right, and inside the middle section here, we have more bilingual books. This one is Chinese and English. Um, unfortunately, they are cartoon images. We could not find any that are real images. Even finding these were pretty hard to find. But my son still loves these. He's starting to be able to associate the real one and the fake ones like I mentioned earlier. And inside this last little basket is more mini books. These two are from Love Every. They actually don't have any words in them. So my son just likes looking through them to see what animals are featured in them or what silly faces these uh, kids make in them or this one is silly faces. So these are nice little books for him to hold. So we're about to head out on our weekly bike ride. Well, mostly weekly. We try to do this almost every Saturday so that we can get some fresh airs for him. And look at him enjoying it, his little uh, PM snack. Just woke up from his little nap. And I think I'm gonna call it a day from here. Uh, I don't wanna bring the camera with me. It's a little bit of a hassle. So let me know down below in the comment section if you want to know any more about the books I talked about in this video. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you next time.